Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX. In the last episode, we saved Bow Wow from the Moblins, and Madame Meow Meow asked us to take Bow Wow for a walk. Because of that, we were able to go to the swamp, eat all the flowers, and open up a path to the Bottle Grotto, which is where we are right now. So, let's get to it, and... You won't be able to lift these pots. Judging by that chest, you will soon enough. Let's go ahead and go over here. And use the magic powder on these torches. We'll be able to go to the east. Now you have two kinds of Stalfos in here. One to the one who is green and one who is yellow. The green one will usually run towards you and try to hit you with a stomp attack. Rolling Blade will easily take care of them both. Did I grab the key? Okay, I grabbed the key. Couldn't even remember if I grabbed the key. And by hitting this this little switch here, you'll be able to raise and lower these blocks. destroy those two shy guys, you have to look to the west and then walk backwards while charging up the whirling blade. When that happens, you want to let go of the sword button and keep holding the control pad to the right. So that way, while you're doing the whirling blade, the shy guys, yes, there are shy guys in this game, continue to walk towards you while you try to hit them from behind those blocks. When you get rid of them, a key will drop down where this blue tile is. Thankfully, we're on the side with the blue tile, so we're able to get around. And we managed to trap this guy. Nowhere near a wall. Excellent. There's a Stalfos Knight here. Go ahead and take care of him with the Whirling Blade. And get a key out of this chest. And from here... We need to use Rock's Feather to get to this button. We'll hit that switch, and we'll get another key, and then make our way to the north. Now we're where we could have met the Shy Guys normally, and we fought them here. Well, we would have had to go all the way back just to get the key. Thankfully, I did it the easy way. And now we got these two guys, the two Helmosaurs. Might as well go ahead and do that. And opened this door. Yes, I know, game. Enough. Let's go ahead and get rid of the keys here. And then push these blocks to the blue tiles, because that seems to be a clue as to what we're supposed to do next. And in here, we've got ourselves this little area. I need to remember I have the rock's feather. Take a ride on these platforms, make sure not to land on in the spikes. And when we climb up here, we should be able to find someplace else to go to. Where are we? Ah, we're in that room. Okay. And let's go ahead and go in here and face this one-eyed bomb-throwing guy. I forget what his name is, but he's now grown a lot since the Link to the Past. And he will charge at you, he will grab you and throw you, and of course he will throw bombs. The Whirling Blade slash Whirlwind slash will make a very easy challenge out of him. And by being this guy, we can warp all the way back to the entrance if we want. Now... By going in here, we have another room that we can go to. This one's full of full of gaps. There's a guardian acorn, which I will definitely need. And from here, we have this room. There's a chest in here, which I want to grab. And inside is the map. So let's go ahead and get that when we can. 
by looking in the map, we learned that this place is the shape of a bottle. Much like how the tail cave was the shape of a Moldorm. And we've got plenty of rupees here, including 20 in a chest. I'm going to go ahead and refill on magic powder. And I'm going to equip the magic powder before going in this room. We'll need it because of the two ghosts. Now you can, when you light a torch, both of the ghosts will be scared of the light. You can either get rid of them with your sword while they're retreating, or you can just let them go off screen. Either way, the game will consider them removed from the screen, and you'll be able to open the chest containing the second dungeon item, the power bracelet. You can pick up pots and stones, which is what we're definitely going to be doing here. Where do we need to go? I will go take the top path here first. And we need to take the bottom one. But by lifting up these pots, sometimes we can find rupees, sometimes we can find hearts. We can find a lot of useful things. Also, to pick up a pot, walk up to a pot. So that way, when you walk into it, you're pushing it. Stop moving. Press and hold the power bracelet button. Press away from the pot on the control pad. You'll pick it up. Face the direction you want to throw the pot. And then press the power bracelet button to throw the pot again. And from here, we're going to open this chest for a key. And I'm going to show off something you couldn't do in Link to the Past. Stand on these when these things are upright. You can do that. And this won't be the only time you'll be able to do it. Of course, once you jump off, you can't jump back on them. So you're going to have to be careful. Also, thankfully, you can always change the direction of your jump in midair, which is always good. And if I could hit you, that would be great. And I'm ready. I'm getting hit twice by keys. Excellent. I do want to hit the switch one more time. I believe. And we have a door to the to the east that we can grab. Yes, game, I know. Enough already. And I just took damage from a pole's voice before I could get to that. Get to that pot. Thankfully, there should be a fairy in this third pot. And if I could grab that, would be great. Excellent. What does this lead to? Ah, this area. This one, this platform, you can stand on on its own. But this one will refuse to budge unless you equip the power bracelet, pick up a pot, take it up the ladder, and then stand on the platform with the pot in your hands. This will weigh you down a little bit to the point where you can get to this ladder, which will take you to the nightmare door. We're not going to be able to do anything there yet. So let's go ahead, make our way back, and fight off the enemies again. And if I could get away from the enemies, that would be great. There we go. All right. Does the fairy come back? It does. So if we go through a stair, through an underground passage, and then come back, we'll be able to do do something here. Anyway, we have plenty of key doors to go through before we do anything else. And we also have this room. I'm going to do that room later. For now, let's grab a guardian acorn as we make our way back to the west. And then, we should be able to get over here, I think.
and then make our way over to here. Oh dear. Looks like we're gonna have to hit the switch again. Thankfully we got rid of all the enemies in our way. Mostly. And now we can do this. We just need to figure out where we're going a little bit. And now, wrong item. We should be able to get over here. Let's go ahead and grab some more powder again. And try not to fall in there. Unfortunately, I failed at doing that. Come on. And we could enter that area now that we have the pots. However, I want to go over here because we have a way of warping around to the beginning. We couldn't get to this chest at the beginning, but now we can. And inside is 50 rupees. Very nice. And while I could go to the torches and light those, I'm going to go to the left, use one of my keys. Don't necessarily need to light the torches. There are no pits here, but there is a pit here. Let's knock you into the pit and open the door back up by opening this chest, which contains the stone beak. Let's find the owl statue that belongs to it. Which we shall. I shall show all, all of them off. And I can't believe I did that. Let's equip the powder again. And that way we can go east one more time. And there's a room I forgot to go to. It's locked. But thankfully we can go to it. Regardless of whether or not we were able to go over here. And there is another shy guy. Let's go ahead and get rid of them. Okay, yeah, I had to do the whirling blade trick to get him, to get him closer to me. And now we should be able to take care of this guy and get a chest containing the compass. Now we can see where the chest and the nightmare are hidden and do everything that we could with the compass in the first dungeon. Is there anything else here? Well, there's two rupees, but other than that, no. Okay. There's not much else we can do. Though I do want to show off the owl statues. Starting with this one. Yes, game, I know. First, defeat the imprisoned Pole's voice, Last Stalfos. That refers to the room that I said I would go to later. And if I can hit the switch one more time, I can do this. Now, how are we going to be able to hit the switch? Well, first off, I do want to refill on magic powder because you never know when you might need any magic powder. And then we're going to go over here. Now we're going to take the path here again. Take this path. And we're going to keep going in this direction. Or so I thought. Well, we can still do this. And we can get you over here, so that way I can hit you down towards the pit. And there we go. Go ahead and hit that guy with the whirling blade. And do we have the right one that we need? Okay, so I will have to hit the switch again. 
just so in case I want to warp, I can do it. Okay, then. Bottom is now up. There's that door, and here's the room that I wanted to go back to. We got the compass tone saying there is a key here, or rather, something hidden. Let's move these two blocks so that way we can take out the pole's voice with the pot because the sword isn't going to do it. We'll take out the keys next, and then we'll take out the stealth boast that fires the arrows at us so we can get this chest which contains the nightmare key. Now we can open the door to the nightmare's lair. And this will not take us to the boss. This will take us to yet another area with Goombas and Piranha Plants. So we've had Goombas in the first dungeon, and for this dungeon we now have Piranha Plants and Shy Guys. We're getting even more Mario enemies by the day, it seems. And by going through here, we end up over here. I believe I've shown this one off already. Indeed I have. That's right, the one... There's another one near the switch at the beginning. Can you go in there, please? And there's a third one somewhere. There's one near the beginning, there's one there. Is there a third one? I want to believe there's a third one. Ah! It was in that room to... In the path leading to the... West, or, yeah, the east there, I should say. I had to check my map there for a second. My other map. I always do these with VG maps just to be safe. And from here... Nope, wrong room. But at least that path is open. Part of the floor is raised. Tap the blue crystal. Thoughtful, but sort of useless. But I do want to go over here, though. And somehow unintentionally trap that Stalfos Knight before defeating him. And what would happen if you were to grab these pots? Heart and heart. Awesome. More health. And those guys showed back up again, but thankfully I knew what to do. And inside are the Helmosaurs, which I will gladly take on. Do I still have a key? No, I do not. Okay, then. Let's go down these... Oh, wait, let's not go down these stairs just yet. Or rather, we will, just not now. Make every block design the same. A new path will open. So all of these... All of these... Owl heads will say something different. Of course, through trial and error and, think, and just using some simple video game logic, you will, should be able to get through all these puzzles without the help of the owl statues. But in case you still need help, well, there you go. And now let's get over here. We need to make our way back to... Where does this take us again? I forget. Right. That takes us to the monster puzzle room. And from here, we can take a shortcut back to the staircase that we need to go. I'm nearing 20 minutes at this point, but since I'm so close to ending this dungeon, I might as well just go ahead and end it in this same video. Thankfully, our health is at full. This guy is out of our way. I do want to fight the enemies here to see if I can get some more rupees, which thankfully I am. 
No. And hopefully in the next video, I'll be able to get the shovel from the May Village shop. In the meantime, though, we need to get out of here. We need to find our way to the nightmare door. Did I find everything? Yeah, I've basically been everywhere that I need to go. So let's go up this ladder. Equip the rock feather for now. Jump these gaps, open the door, and equip the power bracelet again. Because we're going to need it for this battle. <laughs> I'm your bad guy this time. <laughs> and we are now fighting a bottle. Inside is a genie. Yeah, yeah. You can't hurt me as long as I have my bottle. Now this guy will throw fireballs. You need to avoid them. Stay on the move. Sweep the room in a U in a U pattern like so. When he goes back in the bottle, strike the bottle with the sword. I can't move, but I am still all right. Your little sword won't break this bottle. When you hit the bottle, grab it with the power bracelet, throw it into a wall. Any wall will do. From here, this repeats, and he keeps gloating. I broke your bottle, but... Well, I didn't exactly break your bottle, but I did throw it into a wall. It's going to break anyway. And I can't believe that hit me, but thankfully that only did have a heart worth of damage. Apparently, being in the corner does not help you very much. We get it already, buddy. We know. You can either do this in a U pattern, or you can do this in a circle like I'm doing. It's better to do it in a circle. And after you throw the bottle into the wall three times, you'll face the genie outright. Why well, you you broke my bottle! Why you? You make me hopping mad! But you float. Go ahead and hit this guy with the whirling blade. Watch out for the fireballs. Stand the move to avoid him. The further away he gets, the more he does wider circles, and then he eventually comes back and tries to throw a fireball at you. After about four whirling blades, he's done. You get another heart container, and you can go into the room to the east to get this conch shell, which is the second instrument of the game. Oh, sorry, the conch horn. Prairie. Prairie. The prairie is waiting. Okay, Bow Wow. Do your thing. Nice. And now we are able to lift these rocks out of the ground and throw them away. Wrong one. Have we... We've been over there already. But there's more that we can get. And there's more that we can do. And there's more that we can explore. And that's not where I wanted to be. I do want to get out of here before I end this video, though. And maybe get some gold on the... Or rather, rupees on the way there. Does the owl show up anywhere nearby? I hope he does. It wouldn't make sense for him to not show up nearby as we get out of here. Danger. Keep out. Except Bow Wow. That is one of your clues. That, that is basically your only clue other than your Rira that you're supposed to take Bow Wow over here. And I'm not seeing the owl. Maybe we have to go over here. Hmm. 
Hmm. Well, we do have to go to the prairie next time. We do know that. And I could do that now. I could explore more of this area now, but I don't want to just yet. In the meantime, in between time, I do want to go back to the village and explore some more things. And now that we have the power bracelet, we can go in here. So let's do that. Ugh. Well, that's not very encouraging. We're going to need another item to get what's in that chest. Well, we can uncover this and go in here. And let's throw some magic powder in. Hey kid, you woke me up from a fine nap. Thanks a lot, but now I'll get my revenge. Are you ready? I'll let you carry more magic powder. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah, sure, why not? And sorry for anybody who suffered from epilepsy. I apologize. I forgot about that. <laughs> you deserve it. Now look at all that junk you have to carry. <laughs> Take care. See you again. Well, now that we're over here... There is a place that I want to get something in. And if I can remember where it is, I'll go get it. But we are now able to carry 40 uses of magic powder now. And I believe that this place I want to go to is now further to the west, apparently? Apparently so. Now, I haven't been there here on my way back to the village yet. What leads to what? This will probably lead to it. Okay. Let's go ahead and equip the power bracelet, fight off the slimes, and open this chest to find a secret seashell. We now have, I believe, two of these now. Good. We're, we are currently at two. So it was west of just where you start exploring the mysterious forest, or, or the east, rather, of where you start exploring the mysterious forest. Now let's see here. Can we return Bow Wow? Ha ha ha! I really appreciate what you did for my poor precious Bow Wow. You are such a nice boy. How can I ever repay you? And by going back to the village, we can return Bow Wow. So we don't ha need him to get to the Bottle Grotto anymore. You can, I believe you can blow up the plants with bombs if you ever need to go back to the Bottle Grotto. But thankfully we found everything. And you know what? This is a good place to stop this video. Because I'm nearing 30 minutes. Join me next time where we get the shovel, play around with the power bracelet, look around for where we need to go, and also explore more of the island now that we have the power bracelet. Until then, this is Prince Watercrest. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!